This morning, Pittsburgh prepares to bury three victims of the synagogue massacre at the same time that anti-Semitism is on the rise in America, spiking dramatically over just the last two years. Why is this happening? CNN's Sarah Seidner has a report. Investigators say Robert Bowers wanted all Jews to die. The suspect using his arsenal of weapons to try and kill as many Jews as he could now faces a myriad of hate crime and murder charges. In Squirrel Hill, the center of Jewish life in and around Pittsburgh, resident Hallie Goldstein says fear was never part of the equation until now. Before, everyone was just saying how they felt stronger and they felt braver and I don't feel brave, I just feel scared. Now there is reason to fear. 11 people were just slaughtered in a synagogue in America. For years, incidents of anti-Semitism were on the decline in America. Then came the 2016 presidential election. Since then, a meteoric rise, 34% increase in 2016, a 57% increase in 2017, according to the Anti-Defamation League that tracks it. That's the single largest surge we've ever seen since we started tracking this data. Nothing is sacred, not human life or places of worship or even where the dead are buried. In Omaha, Nebraska, a veteran's memorial scarred with a swastika. In Indiana, a synagogue desecrated. In Sacramento, California, flyers targeting Jewish students on campus. It screams of the same type of graphics and the same type of design that the Nazis used. This is in Potters County, Pennsylvania, just a few months ago. This is my country. It's great. This, it, this is also my country. You guys didn't win the culture war. Get the out of here now. And no one can forget the torch-bearing men in Charlottesville, Virginia, spewing their hate-filled rhetoric. Jews will not replace us! What is behind all this? The ADL and those who track hate say there is no doubt political rhetoric is in part to blame. That rhetoric can be subtle or in your face, like U.S. Representative Steve King, for example, retweeting messages from a known Nazi sympathizer. I'm not deleting that because then you all pile on me and say King had to apologize, he was wrong, he knows he's guilty. I'm not. I don't feel guilty one bit. I'm human. This Trump political ad raised eyebrows featuring prominent Jews to target global special interests. And for the global special interests. While those accused of anti-Semitism for years, like Louis Farrakhan, continue to tweet and make inflammatory statements. When Jews are literally under attack, we should have a zero, poler a zero tolerance policy on intolerance. It's unacceptable that anyone from the president to Minister Farrakhan to anyone in between should make derisive comments and all of it should be called out. All of it should be unacceptable. And it all adds up. And let us not forget social media sites like Gab uh, that give a place for people to express these kind of anti-Semitic sentiments. That is uh, where we found the suspect and him spewing such hate, even warning that he was about to go in. Uh, we do know uh, for many, many months of looking at Gab, I cover hate in this country, uh, and I actually ended up going there after Charlottesville because that is where many of the white supremacists and neo-Nazis migrated to because they kept getting kicked off of platforms like Twitter. Uh, and so it is a place, even a few minutes after this horrible massacre, after the world learned of it, there were many, many anti-Semitic tropes all over that social media site. John? Sarah Seidner for us in Pittsburgh. Sarah saying she covers hate in this country. Sadly, it appears as if it's a growing beat. Uh, we thank you for the work that you do on that.